Okay, so today I'm going to show you all of the different things I like to use my Target mini erasers for. Now, before I started my Instagram page, Magically Miss Melanie, I thought I might probably be the only one in the whole world who was as obsessed with these things. Um, like nobody could possibly be obsessed with them like I am. And my sweet assistant, Miss Stacy, is always telling me, jokingly and lovingly, that I probably need a Target dollar spot intervention because of this. Well, since starting my Instagram page, I have found so many other educators who use these for so many things. Some people use them with their older students just simply for tokens or for a reward system. Um, I'm a pre-K teacher, so I use them for lots of early childhood activities. So here we go, let's get started. First of all, I just wanna do like an up close of all of the different ones I have. I have everything, I've got pizza, snowflakes, sneakers, stars, Halloween things, summer and beachy things, ice cream, snowflakes, dinosaurs, Dr. Seuss, Pete the cat, hearts. A couple of them like these hearts are actually from Oriental Trading Catalog. And that's another fun place to look for these little mini erasers. So. One thing I like to do is these brand new trays from Target, they were, I believe, $3 a piece. Um, I like to fill the little spots. Um, I wanna give a shout out to Another Day in Pre-K because she is the one who told me about these little trays and they're great. So I filled up the little spots with mini erasers and then the children can use them to build shapes. And then down here, I've also got these little dot pages with numbers. So I've done the three, and something I really like about placing the tree, the tray this way is um, if you have a right-handed child, they have to reach across their midline to get their erasers to make their three. And if you have a left-handed child, just simply flip the tray around flip the number around and then they have to use their left hand to cross over their midline to get their stars. So anytime I can throw in a little added bonus to an activity, that makes me happy. Okay, also, instead of using their fingers, another fine motor activity would be to use tweezers to pick up and transfer erasers. So fingers or tweezers or tongs are all great. So now jumping over here, I have this ice cube tray. This one is just from the Dollar Tree. You can find them at Target and other places too. I like the Dollar Trees because they come in different colors and sometimes different shapes. These are great for counting and making patterns and sorting the mini erasers. Also, I like to save water bottles and I'll have parents send me in water bottles. Um, these are great, the Core brand. I also like the Voss brand. Um, to fill this with erasers and they can do, um, make it like an estimation activity. You know, every day maybe change them out with a different style and a different amount of erasers and have the children estimate. That's a nice little math skill. So this tray, also from the Target um, dollar spot was $3. And they typically have them out every year with their back to school stuff. The children can simply roll the dice, count the dots. So I see eight and then I would count up eight apples. Um, so another quick little counting activity, a way to use those erasers. Down here, these are some 10 frames that I bought and printed out from Playfully Primary. Um, one of my favorite Instagram accounts with some awesome activities uh, in her Teachers Pay Teacher store. And uh, she does offer a lot of freebies as well. But I like to use my little rainbow counters with these rainbow 10 frames. Um, letter building. This might be my favorite mini eraser activity. I have um, lots of different um, papers and activities with all the different letters and with the children I just encourage them to use the erasers to build their letters. Um, and we, you know we do a lot of like you know uppercase W, big line down, big line up and you know your lowercase W is made with little lines. Can you use your erasers to make an uppercase W and a lowercase W. Another little letter activity, this is just simply matching uppercase and lowercase. So you can see if the child could identify the uppercase letter, find the lowercase letter and cover it with a mini eraser.
something else, don't forget um, your mini erasers when you put out sensory bins. Um, they're fun to just dig through and um, scoop up and sort um, in the sand or any kind of material like that. They're also fun in the water table. I like to cut these lily pads out of craft foam. You could also cut out other shapes and things um, because they float. But what I like to have the children do is use different things to count and put on, in this case, the lily pad and see how many it takes to make the lily pad sink. So there you go. Lots of fun activities to do with those mini erasers from the dollar spot. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel because I have lots of more fun activities planned, especially for the start of our new school year. And that is all for today. I am Miss Melanie and I'll see you real soon.